Thanks for being quirky and goofy, yes. We don't know how fun here. What is it called? That, that guy, the band fun? I always want to talk about him, but I always forget his name. <laughs> was it Cromwell? Oliver Cromwell? He was in, in charge of the UK. And uh, he banned fun. He banned Christmas. He banned dancing. He banned colorful clothes. <laughs> He banned everything. <laughs> he banned plays. He banned theater. He was a little evil. He did a little trolling. <laughs> what did Oliver Cromwell ban? He was a Puritan. He banned Christmas. <laughs> Got a license for that color for sure. He would have banned VTubers if VTubers had been around. Yeah, he literally banned Christmas. <laughs> Imagine if you <laughs> encouraging subjects to treat the midwinter period with the more solemn humiliation because it may call to remembrance our sins and the sins of our forefathers who have turned this feast, pretending the memory of Christ, into an extreme forgetfulness of him by giving liberty to carnal and sensual delights. Okay. The rejection of Christmas as a joyful period was reiterated when in 1644 ordinance confirmed the abolition of the feasts of Christmas. Easter? He banned Waster. From this point until the restoration in 1660, Christmas was officially <laughs> <busy> illegal. <laughs> Riots broke out. The people were not happy. They were not happy. <laughs> Night of his death, a great storm swept England and all of Europe. The most likely cause of death was sepsis, blood poisoning. He was buried with great ceremony. That's nice. Cromwell was, wait. Cromwell's body was exhumed from Westminster Abbey on the 12th anniversary of the execution of Charles I in 1661. And... Was subjected to a posthumous execution? What? How can you execute someone who's dead? Three years after he died, they dug him up and cut off his head? His body was hanged in chains and then thrown into a pit? His head was cut off and displayed on a pole outside Westminster Hall until 1685. What the fuck is wrong with the 1600s? <laughs> Dead for three years and then they're dead. <laughs> what the fuck? They were like, Oh, yeah, that guy died. We forgot about him, but uh, we're still mad, so we're gonna dig him up. <laughs> Why wait that long? <laughs> I, I, I never found the list of everything he meant. Uh, he wanted everyone to lead their lives according to what was written in the Bible. The word Puritan means the followers had a pure soul and lived a good life. Cromwell believed that everyone else in England should follow his example. One of the main beliefs of the Puritans was that if you worked hard, you would go to heaven. Pointless enjoyment was from the bond. Cromwell shut many inns and the theaters were all closed down. Most sports were banned. <laughs> Boys caught playing football on a Sunday could be whipped as a punishment. <laughs> swearing was punished by a fine. Although those who kept swearing could be sent to prison. Cromwell believed that women and girls should dress in a proper manner. Makeup was banned. Puritan leaders and soldiers would roam the streets of town and scrub off any makeup found on unsuspecting women. <laughs> uh, to keep the population's mind on religion, instead of having feast days to celebrate the saints, one day in every month was a fast day. <laughs> you did not eat all day. Sunday became a very special day under the Puritans. Most forms of work were banned. Women caught doing unnecessary work on the holy day could be put in the stocks. <laughs> Simply going for a Sunday walk, unless it was to church, could lead to a hefty fine. <laughs> Women. Despite all of these rules, Cromwell himself was not strict. He enjoyed music, hunting, and playing bowls. He even allowed full-scale entertainment 
at his daughter's wedding. Typical politician. The rules are for you.